Well, that's right, Ben. You ask, we answer. And so many of you at home sending us in some questions on a number of topics. We have Dana who wrote to us saying the ACT rescheduled its April test to June 13th. This June date has not been canceled like the June SATs were canceled by the College Board. The question is, since school is canceled in Connecticut for the remainder of this academic school year, Will those closed schools serving as test sites reopen for the June ACTs? Well, we dug into this. I reached out to both the Connecticut Department of Education and the ACT. The Education Department said Connecticut has 25 ACT test sites, of which 16 have decided to close and are not offering the test. The remaining test sites are still deciding whether or not they will be holding the June 8, 13th ACT exam. The ACT says schools that serve as test centers do still have the option of administering the June test, even if they are closed for the regular school year. Next week, the ACT will be notifying students and announcing all test center closings and cancellations after it makes a decision about the June 13th test date. We're told, Dana, that your daughter's specific test site, Mercy High School, has already been closed. Here's just another question that we received. This one coming from Linda, and she wrote to us, I have a contract for a personal trainer. The monthly fee is taken out of my checking account, although the fee has been waived because the gym is closed. I am not comfortable going back to the gym until a vaccine has been found and proved effective. Can I break my contract with the trainer? My contract is up in September. Well, I reached out to the Department of Consumer Protection, which oversees health clubs in our state. It says if you want to cancel your contract, the first thing you should do is review it and see what you are entitled to. It says if you talk to your health club and feel it has breached the contract by not allowing you to cancel, you can file a complaint with DCP. However, a lot of health clubs are changing policies during this pandemic, so it's important to make sure that you stay up to date with the current policies and that you talk to your health club first. To see all of the questions we've answered, just head to fox61.com slash answers. We may have already gotten to yours. And if we haven't, you can always email us. Just send an email to share61 at fox61.com. Ben?